Okay, so I did a few more stitches since I cut there, just to bring us around to kind of the point that I wanted to talk about next. And that is adding pine needles when yours start to run out. So if I look at my tails here, I've got one that's getting like pretty short, and then sort of a range of lengths up until these longest ones. Having a bit of difference in the lengths is actually kind of nice because you don't really want to be adding more than one pine needle at a time. Um, if you do notice that you're going to run out of two pine needles at almost the exact same time, I would recommend adding one a bit earlier. So like I do still have some length here, I could add it, you know, if it was for this, replacing this one, I could add it maybe here. But um, I'm going to start adding them now so that I'm not adding these three at almost the same moment. And the way I find that easiest to do, I'm just going to work across this bend a little bit more here. I will usually put my next stitch in, pull it not too, too tight. And then you want to insert your new pine needle sort of into the middle of the other ones and you can kind of move them around. It's a bit hard for me to try to show the camera and look myself at the same time, but you can kind of poke them here, like this one actually goes over here and move them around to try to conceal and contain where that end is. You don't have to be this finicky with it, but um, I was also just struggling to do it myself while trying to show it to the camera. And once you get that kind of tucked into the middle and under your loop that you already started, you can pull that loop snug and it's going to not quite be fixed in there. So, you know, keep an eye on it. They can fall out again at this point. Um, and that's not like a big deal. You can just stick them back in there. And I'm going to make my next loop as well, sort of trying to hold everything careful and not carefully and not drop that pine needle. And once you get about two loops cinched around it like I now have here, you can kind of adjust where that's sitting, keep pulling them snug, and it's fairly secure. I'm going to put one more loop in. and then add my next pine needle. Normally this will be much more, or as your basket progresses, rather, this will be much more spaced out when you are adding the needles. And it won't be kind of tricky managing adding several right at once. So I'm gonna get this sort of looser loop that I want to put my needle into. Grab a needle with the cap off. Find a spot to put it into the middle of your other needles there. I'm even gonna move this one I just added around. Kind of slide it on into that last loop. Cinch it tight. Keep being pretty careful how you hold it because it can fall out easy at this point and get your next loop on in there. Continuing to stitch through the previous round of your basket and through the sinew stitches that are on that previous round. And when you're working very close to the middle, you can see that it's sometimes hard to tell if it's one or two. This is actually two stitches here. Um, even though they were sitting together. I'm going to keep cinching this in, add one or two more stitches, and then add the third new pine needle so I can keep progressing my basket. 